Yeah, maybe a little meditation going on, lock it in before the game, but here we go. John Numbers, EJJ, winner's semis. Very polite of John to wait for EJJ to finish his meditation set. Yeah. Don't mind. He just ran him down. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Don't do it to him. Okay. okay. That, yeah. All right. We're calm. We're, uh, we're fine. We're meditated. A little terrifying. A little terrifying. Here we go. John able to push that advantage that he was that he just gained from that crazy sequence. That that 99 felt personal, yeah. by the way. I don't know if like EJJ was beaming some thoughts into John's head, some <laughs> very rude things to say or telepath. Yeah, EJJ trying to stay on top of John here, but John doing a good job. Get off me. Throwing out that forward tilt preemptively, and it's, oh my gosh, where is he going? Where I'm, is he going? I'm very surprised John did not let that sun rip and uh, reset the situation there, but instead using it to try and find himself some space off of this ledge here. EJJ with the advantage. Nice little banana forward smash, reset the situation. Looking for a Z drop there, oh. but he didn't charge the gas just enough in the jetpack. Doing too much. And I have this, I've noticed this thing about, I don't remember if it was EJJ. I was watching a Diddy Kong player, and every time that, like, let's say John Numbers was off stage, Z drop banana down air. And it's like John was like 20 feet below the stage there. There's no reason mm -hmm. to Z drop, go for the down air. Just hold the ledge a little bit longer, and just, or maybe just try to ledge trap with a banana in hand. But if he did that in that situation, I think it would have ended a lot better for him. I mean, that in itself is kind of the John Numbers classic of just waiting for you to try and edge guard John Numbers. Like, he spends so much time off stage. Why wouldn't you edge guard him? It's because you get reversal. Yeah, every every time. It's, oh he's ledgeception. <laughs> Did you see John just not move in the face of the banana Ooh. being thrown at him? Good job, though, from EJJ. Finds that confirm, and, you know, you can rack it up. your Diddy Kong. Hit your combos. Here we go. Yep, getting things started. Yeah, I think that might have been John's jump there, but he does find solid ground. Yeah, with deep breathing up, we fit a little heavier too, so make those combos last longer. All right, let's see. The percentages are starting to climb back in EJJ's favor. If he's able to hold on to these positions, but John, the, the anti-rob master is going to be knowing how to <laughs> land on these items or just pick them up out of, a, out of an initial dash. So John is not going to be too phased by the bananas just thrown directly in his face. Yes. Thrown onto him, however, <laughs> yeah. apparently a little too much. Some good combos, though, coming out from EJJ, and he's opting to just ledge trap here. Then it's paying off. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. Ooh, that little, that micro spacing by EJJ. Just a little crawl backward, putting him in the perfect position for that down tilt up smash. Ooh, but the forward tilt, get off me. Gonna be able to take the stock there. We're looking at a pretty even game, but a good job by EJJ to bring it back when he was down almost stock. Yeah, and I mean that's really gonna be kind of the crux of this is just making sure that e making sure that EJJ does not find himself lost in the sauce because that's exactly how he just lost stock to. Ooh, John playing patient gets a deep breathing up. Uh oh. Bananas exchanging hands. Yeah, and I like John's idea there to just place it back on the platform. Just say, hey, this is my stage hazard now, actually. <laughs> yeah, but here we go. EJJ, banana in hand. The sun has come out tomorrow. <laughs> it's not looking all right. Like, where are you Z-dropping down airing to right there? Oh, John sending EJJ off stage with the dash attack, but we're looking at a really even game here with three minutes to go. Yeah, I think EJJ realizing he was getting a little bit too aggressive, just finding himself some space in center stage to re-pull that banana, try and find his momentum once again. Really creative angle with the jetpack. Once again, just pulling that banana, WeFit doesn't really have the dash speed to contest that resource management. Yeah, EJJ doing a good job, playing patient, holding on to that banana. Ooh. Good work from John, finds a soccer ball. EJJ deep in deep disadvantage. I don't think he has his jump. Oh yeah, he does, and uses it. EJJ shield, yeah, we can see him looking to get a little bit more aggressive. The shield is looking like it's held together by scotch tape in a dream. <laughs> yeah. Oh, banana knocking John off stage, which is honestly probably better than tripping there, so he'll take it. Yeah, yeah. I think, Oh. What happened? Oh, it I looked like he looked that.
Mm, I think the air dodge sent him a bit too far there, which means he was probably dead anyway, so. Tough. Yeah, John, smart to... Ooh. Yeah, let's see if we can get this slow down. Did he monkey flip, maybe? Because there was a weird drift on that. Yeah, air dodge. Air dodge. Air dodge. Air dodge. Looks like air dodge. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunate. That mm. should have been EJJ's game to win. And he is trying to be the change that he wants to see in the world as we move into game two. Just sticking with that PS2. EJJ says, that was my game. I'm not going to switch things up. Yeah, for real. I, I like to stay at PS2. It's not like that game was out of grass for anything. And even when he was down, he was able to get those combos and find it and bring it back. So going back to PS2, you're confident. Good. Ooh, was maybe trying to empty hopper, get something going there. But John finding the up tilt. Yeah, uh -oh. and it, it did look like EJJ had the right idea as John came up with a forward air, but just no whiff punish from EJJ, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, banana in hand, John off stage. This is where you want to be as Diddy Kong Ooh. with the soccer ball trading with a banana throw, which John yeah. will take these trades all day. I think I think almost any trade here is going to be we fit favored over Diddy Kong. So I think what John is doing right now is using the property of the Sun Salutation Charge wind box to just try and get EJJ to throw the banana in and it'll be pushed back out. Right. Also, if he's just standing at the back of the ledge, even if he gets hit by banana, instead of tripping, he gets he just grabs ledge. Yeah, so. it's it's just a fantastic defensive position for John. Oh, was, snatches that banana back with a forward tilt. John, banana in hand, a little scary. Ooh. Yeah, and I mean with especially with the amount of work that We Fit specials do in her neutral, like absolutely just run away and throw projectiles. Yeah, but John maybe tunnel visioning a bit too hard here as EJJ is uh, sticking to this advantage. Ooh. Oh, oh, you're so dead. That was sick as hell. That's unfortunate. A deep breathing F smash at the ledge. Yeah, and then to get, yeah, and after the banana reversal, that was nuts. John is on his game up, but, you know, this is still uh, winnable for EJJ. You just have to find maybe a banana F smash at ledge. Find a combo, rack up some damage, and then a back air. You know, the possibilities are endless. A monkey flip to send John off stage. Anything. Yeah, I mean, we've seen what EJJ can do once he gets that initial victory. But with we fit with banana in hand, John's going to be making that just a little bit tougher. Just eliminating that part of Diddy Kong's neutral. Yeah, and a scary Z drop banana Ooh. that ledge there. John doing a good job just tripping back from it. Things that are getting a little scary. Delay on the neutral air by John was so good. Avoiding the up smash, forcing EJJ to whiff something. EJJ does bring us to even stocks, but 80%, that's a pretty huge deficit, especially with deep breathing online. Yeah, for real, oh, but okay. here we go. Combos are online. Quick 34, but couldn't find more. Oh. Bars? <laughs> oh, looking for a meaty F tilt, but not quite finding it. John timing his ledge get up perfectly. And banana in hand, once again, you're so dead. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, that'll do it. EJJ, good job. You know, you were taking John to pretty close scenarios, getting down to that last stock. And I feel like game one, if we went and watched game back, game one back, you'd be like, oh, you would have won there. When, mm -hmm. when you VOD review later, EJJ, and you're looking at game one, that was your game. Game two got a little out of hand, but hey, good job staying in there. You know, John was up at a high percent, stuck to the game plan, eventually found the up smash. But hey, John moving on to winner's finals. This is a Xeno. Yeah. <laughs> and by the way, if we could see that first stock again, we did uh, kind of gloss over it during the match. But some great adaptation from EJJ to Z-drop the banana instead of throwing it directly at John, which mm. we've seen John having some fantastic counterplay to items being thrown directly at him. EJJ felt that deep breathing F smash. Yeah, in that his was soul. crazy. That he felt was that crazy. in real life. Off the banana too. Good, good gravy. But Our King Devon has been eliminated by Vitz, I think. Tragic. So sad. He emerges. I We're think he does the opposite. He's returning to his the production yeah. cave. <laughs>